All right, uh, it's been a while. Uh, I've been busy with work and other stuff, and so I'm just playing Ghost Rush in my free time, and uh, eh, not the best game ever, but for a laser active title, it was okay. So let's get back to porn, shall we? <laughs> or sort of, anyway. So yeah, today we're gonna look at the fairly obscure uh, Pretty Illusion Collection Volume One with Minayo Watanabe. I'm pretty sure that's not her real name, but um, so as you can guessing, this is probably this is yet another adult title on the Laser Active. Uh, this is the original LD ROM 2 version. Um, this was actually re-released a year later on. Mega LD, and actually this is one of the few cases where the Mega LD versions are significantly rare, but they do exist. Um, well, this was made by the wonderful people of Planet, who also made a lot of other shitty laser active titles. However, uh, looks can be deceiving, and this is not actually porn. Um, depending on your definition of softcore, this is Possibly softcore porn, in my opinion, I don't even consider it that. Uh, why? Well, notice something. You know, obviously in the cover, she's naked, but uh, all the naughty bits are covered. And, you know, if you look at the back, well, you know, we've got a butt. But uh, other than that, you'll notice there's no actual, like, nipple shots or anything. And that's because this game doesn't have any. Uh, this game has absolutely no, like, nipples whatsoever. Uh, which is why, if you'll notice, there's no adult mark on it anywhere. Uh, by the Japanese definition, this game is not, you know, this game is that is actually non-adult. Um, which is kind of odd, though, because Planet, you know, this is the same group that made, uh, like, Angel Mate, which is Strip Poker, and uh, Dora Dora Paradise, which is Strip Mahjong, also both for the Laser Active. And in those ones, yeah, there's tits all over the place. Uh, but I have a theory, though. Um, you see, when those older games were, were released, the Japanese kind of, uh, pornographic rating board was a little bit different. Um, back then you could have, well, you had to be censorship laws, like you couldn't show, you know, um, certain bits of nudity and, uh, things like that. But what you could do is, um, well, I mean, like, you know, you had to put mosaics on the cunt and, uh, the dick and stuff like that. But, uh, if you're gonna show... But nipples were just fine. Just all you had to do was just mark on it that was for adults only. And um, I'm not going to pull it out right now. But like on the older Planet titles on the spine card, uh, there's a little thing, you know, that's down here on the other two that I have that says like, you know, it's for adults only, and that's it. But then um, at some point in the early '90s, uh, the porno game rating industry decided to change the system, and as you have you know, if you look at virtual camera here, you'll notice this big holographic 18 pulse label. This is kind of the new system, um, where, well, they changed it. Instead of just putting your own mark on, what you had to do was you had to submit your game to them, and then they would say, oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, it's 18 plus, and then they give you the, um, you know, then they give you the stickers, and you were officialized. But that cost money, so I'm guessing Planet was just too fucking cheap to actually, uh, you know, spend the money to have it officially regulated as an adult game. So instead they're just like, you know, fuck it, we're just gonna not put any nipples in it. But instead we're gonna put lots of naked butts, because that technically makes it a non-adult title. So, yeah, uh, you're gonna see a lot of adult, or you're gonna see a lot of naked ass shots from this girl. Um, for what it's worth, though, I'm gonna be honest and say that she's probably better looking than most of the cheapo porn stars and like in virtual cameraman and the other and especially the other planet titles um uh, well but uh where's my controller shit it's over there ah, let's get this started up and uh you, you can judge for yourself though i'll be honest this is essentially a cheap poor man's version of virtual cameraman as far as the actual game is concerned if you can even consider this a game I mean, it's like Virtual Cameraman, it involves taking pictures of a naked girl. But, um, Virtual Cameraman, though, made it a fairly interesting game because, I mean, it was, in a sense, it was memorization, but there was a pretty easy to strand hint system, and you could actually play for points, and 
it was just it's actually enjoyable but this is well well I'll let the intro run and then explain So, yeah, um, so there's two modes, story and edit, uh, first I'm actually going to edit, Let's show you the config menu, because, uh, I find this hilarious, <laughs> trap, 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 yeah, and the config menu, the wallpaper just says trap, all over again, and I really find this amusing because, see, there's multiple wallpapers papers you can choose from, but, of course, the default is the one that just says trap. Who knows? Um, so yeah, so how this works is essentially it's a poor man's virtual cameraman. Meaning you take photos and you can take up to a hundred at a time, which will then be saved in your stock. In which case you can divide them up into, I think, five different albums of up to 20 shots each. And the ones that are in your albums are the ones that are actually saved. The game auto-saves anything in your album as well as as far as you progress in story mode. Uh, blind I'll get to a minute. Anyway, we're just going to start the story mode. Uh, according to the manual, there's scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, and then final scene. Which, when you first start it up, you only have scene 1, you have to unlock them. Uh, so we're just going to start from the beginning. Now, it starts off with a video, and very nice quality, actually. Laser discs on a good CRT look beautiful. Now, the dialogue here, if you can understand Japanese, well, it's extremely cheesy. It's just crap, like, I'm waiting for you, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, I want to know more about you, and... Oh, God, it's terrible. It's so bad, I'm not even going to bother to tell you what it means. If you want to know, learn Japanese, get a copy of the game, and then you can be as pathetic as I am. Okay, so... After she's finished talking, the actual game's gonna start. Now, as you can already tell, it's basically just pictures. In other words, screenshots. Instead of virtual cameras, FMV, where you made your own pictures, here it basically just displays them, and you hit button one to actually take a picture yourself. So, in other words, you're basically just hitting a save button. There we go, naked ass. For what it's worth, yeah, she is pretty hot. I, uh, yeah. And, I mean, her teeth aren't the best, but that's unfortunately a common problem in Japan. Often walking down the street, you'll see a very cute girl, and then she'll open her mouth and think, Oh my god, those teeth are nasty. But, yeah, I definitely take her out for a drink or two, shove my dick in her. Yeah, why not? Um, definitely good body. Face is pretty typical Japanese face, but yeah, the body's worth it. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, as I said, you can take up to 100 shots just by hitting the what button one, but those don't really do anything. Those are just for you to create your own custom album with, which is just completely useless as far as the actual game goes. Um, the other option is to hit button two. Now what button two does, turn this down a little, button two act is the blind mode button, which is, see it's going to enter it now. It, this picture has a secret blind mode, meaning it zooms around like this. You know, it, it zooms in and then it gives you like this longer, more closer detailed shot, and you can take a pic of her panties. Um, but, you see, how it works is, uh, like if I hit the pause button, for example, to bring up the menu here. See, stalkers, the photos I've actually taken. Try is the ability, is your attempts to find blind. Now, when you first start the game and you only have access to the first scene, 
you only have 15 tries. Now that I've unlocked the second one, I have 50. But basically how it works is you hit the second button and it's, it's basically a guessing game. So you hit the second button and if you select the right shot, then it goes into this blind mode thing where, you know, you can take a pic of her cunt. She's wearing panties, but you can take a picture of anyway. But, um, but the first time you play this, it doesn't do it. See, the game auto-saves the one you found. So essentially, it's like, you basically just go through, um, hit the button, the second button on a picture, and if you guessed correctly that it has one of these blind mode zoom-in things, then it happens. However, if you're wrong, it makes a little buzzer noise, and then, um, it goes, and you lose one of your tries. Now, so what does this really mean? Not a whole lot. See, how it works is, in order to unlock the next scene, you have to find all of the blind shots. So, like, if you go through and hit the second button at the first 15 photos, um, you'll end up, you know, not passing the first scene because you'll run out of them. Um, the idea is, of course, is to, you know, you have to, you have to find all of them. So basically, and of course it never changes. So like, you hit it at the first scene and it's like, ding, 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 or boo, boo, boo. And if it's boo, 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 well, you lost one of your tries, but you know that's, you know, not one of the ones. And so essentially you're just basically memorizing your way through, um, because, yeah, to get to the next scene, you have to find every single blind in the scene. So, like, once like this, once you realize that this is a blind, you always know it's a blind. And, you know, you have to hit each, every single one of them, but of course, once you, you know, if you do 15 mistakes, then you can no longer select them, and essentially you lose. However, the game is, you know, incredible, even easier than that, because what the game does is it actually auto-saves and remembers which ones you found. See, if you've noticed, I haven't actually hit the button, the second button yet. See there, I just hit it once, first demonstration, it went beep. Um, the game doesn't actually, like, see, it, ba yeah, it auto-saves them, so meaning, once you've found one of them, you've always found it. You know, it'll just automatically play it, and you don't have to find it again. So essentially, how you play this game is, you know, you start a scene, you hit the second button for the first 15 shots, and, you know, a few of them will be right, most of them will be wrong, and then you just basically quit it, play it again, and let it autoplay the ones you already found, and then when you got to the point where you ran out of guesses, then you start guessing again. So essentially, it's just, you know, spending enough time hitting the second button. And once you've found them all, or at least found enough, I don't know if you actually have to find all of them or not, but once you've found enough to satisfy the game, then you unlock the next scene, and you kind of level up, sort of. Like, as you saw from the main menu, I can go straight to scene two. But if I start at scene two, I only get 15 tries. But if I start from the beginning and let it play through both of them, I get 50. <laughs> Which is kind of like, huh? But, uh, so either way though, it's pretty much just trial and error. And it's trial and error made easy, because again, you don't even have, you don't even have to memorize it. You just do it and it saves it, and then you go from the beginning and you just keep doing it until it lets you pass on to the next scene. So this is a pretty pathetic excuse for a game, and yeah, it's essentially, I'm pretty sure Planet just looked at Virtual Cameraman and said, you know what, we can make a game like this too, and make it even cheaper. <laughs> uh, but still, it's, um, I mean, what can you expect from a cheap-ass, you know, nudie title on Laser Active? But, uh, so is it fun? No, not really. Um, the girl's hot, I'll give it that. And, uh, but, yeah, to be honest, this makes, this kind of disc makes me even feel more, like, dirty than 
Yeah, here's where all the naked butt scenes start happening. But yeah, as I say, this kind of thing makes me feel even dirtier than if I'm playing like Virtual Cameraman. Because Virtual Cameraman is just a cheesy as hell, you know, festival of girls just prancing around like idiots and it's like, you can't even take it seriously. But this is trying to be like in some kind of artsy, you know, legitimate thing. I mean, it totally isn't. It's just a girl with her naked butt standing up against a shower. And, I mean, and the blind mode makes it even worse, because, see, like, normally I take the camera and I go, Whoa, look at that ass! But here, I don't even have to do it, because the game does it for me. I mean, the first time I hit, hit the second button in order to trigger it, but now that I have, it does it every single time. Actually, you can disable the blind modes in the options. And you can also control how much time it spends on a photo. The default is three seconds, but you can up it to five or as little as one if you really want to flash through the stuff you've seen before. But, but that's not the point. I mean, this is a game that basically, you know, auto-zooms in on a girl's ass. You know, I'd assume if they had actually spent money to go for the ratings board, we'd have some tit shots, but they were too cheap to do that. We don't have that, so instead we just get to look at a butt, which I have no personal problems with. She definitely has a nice butt. I like looking at butts. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is essentially all it is, though. You know, there's really no scoring, there's no... I mean, does this even count as a game? I suppose... Ah, uh, who knows. See, this is scene two. So... Let's see... So, more story. Which doesn't even make sense, because the crap she's saying, it's like you're some kind of, like, lover or something. Which... But if that case, the, but you're a fucking cameraman, so, and even in the intro it shows you taking pictures, so it's like, what? Uh, who knows. Why am I trying to make sense out of a cheapo, low-budget, wannabe porn game from, I think, 1994? I think this one's... 94, maybe... Was it 95? Oh, I don't know. 94, 95, pretty much the same year anyway. So, uh... So I will say for what it's worth, if, if you know, if you don't speak a word of Japanese and you're a laser active owner and you want to import some of the adult titles, this is probably the easiest one to play, because it's just a guess, it's just a basic, you know, hit the button. No. Let's try it. Oh, there's one. But yeah, it's basically just hit the button and hope you get lucky and keep doing it by abusing its autosave feature and eventually you get to the next part of the game. Virtual Cameraman is definitely have a lot more fun, but the interview might annoy some people. But yeah, that little tone just means, woo, you got it! But, um, there's really not much more to say about this. I mean, it's, it, what you see is what you get here, you know. But, oh. So these, this is the kind of thing that, um, you know, these rarely turn up on eBay. Uh, when they turn up in Japan, they're actually fairly cheap, as far as, you know, laser active titles go. But, um... Yeah, girl, you straddle that couch. <laughs> Click. But, uh... Yeah, it's... If this actually looks interesting to you, go for it. Personally, I've, only, I've decided, for some stupid reason, that I'm going to try and get a complete title. Like, every unique title on the Laser Active. Not every version, like, I have no urge to own this on both Mega LD and LD Rom Rom, so I'm not going to be buying two copies of this freaking game. But I would like to get every individual disc, because there aren't that many. In fact, I only need, I think, nine more, and I'll have the full set, which unfortunately, I pretty much have all the actual games at this point. All that's left are just the really shitty, um, 
pretty much the edutainment discs that I've been avoiding, like crap like Great Pyramid, which are actually pretty cheap. It's just it's a, it's a crappy video tour of the Great Pyramid on Laserdisc. I don't actually want to really play that, but at this point, you know why not? There's only there's only nine more to go. Typically, I'm not really a collector so much, but on a system with the laser active, it's got a nice gimmick and only. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You know, there's so few titles that eh, might as well. Especially that I've got the really expensive ones done with. Babe. Babe. What? Face shots? Give me more butt shots. Oh, there's one. Um. Boobs. And of course we go straight to the cunt. See, it's just, I'm basically just hitting it and, I mean, they never change. It's always a set order. Just remember where you left off, so when you start the next time, you can start it fresh because it does save them, which makes it incredibly easy. But I suppose that's a good thing because I don't think anyone really wants to spend a significant amount of time, you know, playing this. Oh, by the way, if for some strange reason you do find this um, interesting and you don't have a laser active, uh, this was actually also re officially released on video CD. I only know this because the website I bought this from also had the video CD in stock. And of course, being a crappy video CD, that it was only like 500 yen, but... Come on, just get rid of your hands. Fortunately, no, she's not going to, though, because this game doesn't even have the typical planet marking on it, so... No, this is it's about as dirty as it gets. Can I clear the second scene? Um, either way though, if you're actually still watching this video, I suppose you deserve some kind of present, some kind of reward. I don't really have much to offer though. Um, I like that uh, underwear. Uh, I suppose if you want, I can send you a dirty sock. <laughs> oh, this is so cheesy. But I suppose that's what makes the laser active a fun system to own. So expensive and so shitty. But still, a strange amount of games that are actually really fun. Oh, that's the end of the scene, I think. Did I unlock the third? Oh, yes, I did! <laughs> See? That's like the second time I've actually played that. And just by doing, you know, random crap, I unlock the third scene, which starts right out with a naked butt. Yeah. Uh. This video has been going for like 20 minutes now. Spread you out on the lawn with a shirt. It's getting dirtier, but. At the same time, though, we already know she's not actually going to show us her tits, so it's kind of like uh, the excitement's gone. And this monologue's just getting more and more bullshit. She's like, I want to talk to you, I want to hear your voice. Yeah, bullshit. You're a porn model, all you're going to do is lie there naked, get your photo sh shot a couple of times and then you're gonna disappear with your money. In fact, you know, you're not even doing porn, you're just doing naked modeling. So, you know, you're not even gonna like come over and suck the pho photographer's cock or anything. I wonder what happened to this bitch. I should look her up. See if she made anything else. I'd assume this isn't her real name, but um, so out of curiosity now that this has started, 
Let's go up to the menu and did I level up again? No, I still only have 40 tries. But again, I can start right at the scene. So it kind of... Interesting that they're all black and white now. single one I found. Well, I'm not going to clear this one, obviously. <laughs> well, we're about, we've almost hit the 30 minute mark of this crap, and uh, considering how easy this is, I probably will attempt to beat it, just to say I did. But I suppose, you know, the biggest news about this game, though, is once you beat it, you can play Volume 2! Yes, because, as I said, they made two of these. The second one, I'm guessing, is exactly the same crap. Just, uh, it's a totally different girl. So, different photos. Um. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, this is probably not a very exciting Let's Play. Does it even count as a Let's Play? Uh, who gives a shit? If you actually see want to want to see more of this? Um, let me know. <laughs>